selected important problems based on quadratic equations so here we are going to perform few selected important problems which are based on the quadratic equations that too in an advanced level so here we know that the general form of a quadratic equation is of x square plus bx plus c equals to 0 then now here let us perform the first problem that is problem number 1 for what values of k does the equation does the equation k x square plus k minus 1 into x plus k minus 1 is equals to 0 is equal. So, here for what values of k does the equation k x square plus k minus 1 into x plus k minus 1 equals to 0 is equal. Solution starts now. So, in our solution as per the problem the equation which is given to us is of k x square plus k minus 1 into x plus k minus 1 equals to 0 is the given equation. So, here so, this is in the form of since it is of second degree. So, here that implies a x square plus b x plus c is equals to 0, which is nothing but the gen form of the quadratic equation. So, here a x square plus b x plus c equals to 0 is the general form of a quadratic equation. So, x square quotient is of a in the general form whereas, x square quotient is of k in the given equation. x quotient is of b in the general form of a quadratic equation and whereas, x quotient is of k minus 1 in the given equation. Constant is of c in the gen form of a quadratic equation and the constant is of k minus 1 in the given equation. So, here by comparing the given equation with the gen form of a quadratic equation the two in case of the coefficients and as well as the constants. So, here a is the coefficient of x square k is the coefficient of x square. So, here a equals to k. So, here a equals to k by means of comparing and similarly x coefficient is of b. So, we can write b as. So, here x coefficient is of k minus 1 in the given. So, k b is of k minus 1 and at the same time constant real constant is of c in the general form of a quadratic equation and whereas, in the given equation the constant is of k minus 1 therefore, we can equate c is equals to k minus 1. So, by comparing so here we got the values of a b and as well as c the latter. So, here as per the problem according to the problem so here the equation has real and equal roots. So, here he had given that for what values of k the equation k x square plus k of k minus 1 into x plus k minus 1 equals to 0 is equal. So, unless and until the discriminant 
is equals to 0 so here the roots would not be equal so here real and equal so here as per problem or according to problem according to problem the equation that is given the equation has real and equal roots so here it is possible unless and until the discriminant is equal to 0 so here then we have so here when the roots are equal and as well as real since the roots are real then we have the discriminant delta must be equal to 0 or so here d must be equal to 0 or so here d discriminant is nothing but b square minus 4 ac must be equal to 0 whereas d delta stands for the discriminant so here therefore so we got b square minus 4 ac is equals to 0 now so in this particular equation or the formula so let us substitute the values which we got so here a value is of k b and c are of each k minus 1 so here we can write it as so here a value is of k and b and c are of k minus 1 each let us replace b by means of k minus 1 and a by means of k and c by means of k minus 1 say in this particular equation then now that implies b square b is of k minus 1 so here k minus 1 b square so here exponent will be of 2 k minus 1 whole square minus 4 into a value is of k into c value is of k minus 1 again then now that equals to right hand side is of 0 then the next logical step will be of so here that implies it is in the form of a minus b whole square so here based upon this special product that is a minus b whole square is equals to a square minus 2 a b plus b square so based upon this reason so i am going to expand so here this as so here a is of k and b is of 1 a minus b a minus b as k minus 1 so here its expansion that is k minus 1 so expansion is in the form of a minus b whole square its expanded form is of a square that is a value is of k k square k whole square minus 2 a b so here minus 2 into a value is of k into b value is of 1 plus b square so b is of 1 whole square minus 4 k into k minus 1 minus 4 k into k minus 1 but k minus 1 so here that must be equated to 0 on the right hand side so here we got this logical step by means of this reason or this special product then now the next logical step will be off so that implies k square minus 2 into k into 1 it is of 2 once is of 2 k plus 1 square is of 1 1 square 1 once is of 1 then now here so here each and every term of k minus 1 within the bracket must be multiplied with 4k 4k into k then 4k into 1 then now the next logical step will be of so minus 4k into k is of 4k into k is of k square then minus of minus is of plus 4k once is of 4k then that must be equated to 0 by writing the like terms together then the next logical step will be of k square but its coefficient will be 1 one more k square is here that is minus 4 k square then now minus 2 k plus 4 k plus 1 is equals to 0 so 1 k square is of positive then 4 k square is of negative so here these two are of like terms k square terms and these are of k terms then now simplifying further so here we get the next logical step as so here k square terms i am going to simplify 
So here four is of negative and one is of positive. Plus of minus is minus. Let us subtract. Greater than at least four minus one is of three k square. To assess the sign of this three, so among four and one, four is greater than sign is of negative. Therefore, three k square assess the sign of negative. Now simplifying two k and four k. So here two k is of negative and four k is of positive. Minus into plus is minus. Let us subtract. Four minus two is of two k. But in order to assess the sign of this two k among four and two, four is greater than that of two. So four sign is of positive. So here I assess the sign of positive. Plus one is equals to zero. So by changing the signs of each and every term of the quadratic equation, so instead of minus three k square, I will be getting it as plus three k square and plus two k as minus two k and plus one as minus one equals to so zero on the other hand. So here by changing the signs of each and every term, so we will be getting so that implies three k square instead minus three k square. I wrote it as plus three k square. Plus two k plus one is written as minus two k minus one is equals to zero. Then now, so here splitting this two as so here that implies three k square written as it is. Instead, minus two k. Instead of minus two, so I am going to write minus two as. We need minus sign, so minus three and here plus one. So here minus of plus is minus. Let us subtract. Three minus one is of two. Since three is greater than one, so three sign is of negative. We'll be getting it as minus two. So instead of minus two, we can write the. We can split it as minus three and plus one. So here, based upon this logic. So here, based upon this logic, I say here I am going to write it as so minus 2k can be written as minus 3k plus 1k. So here, instead of minus 2k, I am going to write it as minus 3k plus 1k. Then now here minus 1 as it is, and that equals to zero. Then now, among the first two terms, among the first two terms that is 3k square and 3k. Among the next two terms, I want to take the common. So here, I mean, among the first two terms, I want to take three and as well as k as common. When three and k, so three is taken out as common. Out of two k's, that is, k square can be written as k into k. Out of two k's, one k is taken as common and one more k is left over within the bracket. Minus three k is totally taken as common. Then three k ones, the quotient is of one. Three k ones are so three k ones is of three k within the bracket is left over. Then plus among these two, when one is taken out as common. So one taken out as common, just k is left over within the bracket. Then now here positive sign, therefore the sign won't be changed inside the bracket. So here plus one number of times to get one. So one ones is of this one bracket close. Then that equals to zero. Then now among these two terms, that is k minus one and k minus one is common. So here in these two terms, three k into k minus one as the first term and one into k minus one as the second term equals to zero. So k minus one is common in both the terms. So I want to take k minus one as common now. So that implies when k minus one is taken out as common, then square bracket. When this k minus one is taken as common, just three k is left over within the bracket. Then now plus this bracket is taken out as common, just plus one is left over within the bracket, square bracket. That equals to zero. In order to get the value of k, either the first bracket must be equated to zero or the second bracket must be equated to zero. So here then k minus one must be equated to zero. So that implies or Then now second bracket that is 3k plus 1 must be equated to zero. Then now, so in order to get the value of k, so here when minus 1 is transposed over to the right hand side, whereas here also when plus 1 is transposed over to the right hand side, so we will be getting the next logical step as when k is equal to then k is equal to minus 1 transposed over to the right hand side becomes plus 1. So here 3k when plus 1 is transposed over to the right hand side we get it as minus 1. So in this manner I got k equals to Positive one as the first value, or so here I need the value of k. So here k equals to minus one is on the other hand. So here there is of into symbol. So into three. So here multiplication when it is transposed over to the right hand side it becomes division. So here into three on the other hand becomes divided by three. So here k is equals to minus one by three is the second value. So here hence the k values are. So here k is equals to either one. Or minus one by three.